Hello fellow gamers, this is Archimedes, the video game enthusiast from Germany. In today's video I would like to discuss the Inside Xbox episode that aired on May 7th. Was it a hit or a miss for Microsoft? I want to give you my personal opinion on the event. But first, if you watch this video and end up enjoying yourself, even though you might disagree with my point of view, then please consider hitting the like and subscribe button, this would really help my channel out. But now, let's discuss the event where Microsoft has shown for the very first time gameplay from third-party developers running on the Xbox Series X. Microsoft aired the Inside Xbox episode on May 7th. They promised to show for the very first time gameplay from third-party developers running on the Xbox Series X, including the highly anticipated Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And the show was different from what I expected and, to be frank, from the way they marketed the event. That's why I felt a little underwhelmed at the end of the show. And the reason for that is not because of the games they have shown. No, those were fantastic. And the pacing of the show was also great. They had a lot of trailers and at the end of the show they had some interviews with devs, which is a great approach for a show. No complaint there. But let me get into detail why I expected something different. The show started with homemade videos from Aaron Greenberg, head of games marketing and Matt Booty, head of Xbox Game Studios. They were setting up the expectations for the show, that the long-awaited first-party blowout reveal from the Xbox Game Studios is coming in July and that in June we will get an event which is dedicated to platform hardware and services. And on a side note, in June we have many digital gaming events from IGN, GameSpot, EA and the Summer Game Fest from Jeff Keighley, so I expect a lot of gaming news to drop in June. But back to the Inside Xbox episode. With the way how they marketed the event, I was expecting to see third-party gameplay running on the Xbox Series X. And when they finally started to show games and gameplay, I felt a bit underwhelmed. And that is not because the games they have shown didn't look interesting. On the contrary, it's because if you want to introduce for the very first time gameplay from a new generation of consoles, you need to have that game, that one moment that blows your mind and leaves you speechless. And that didn't happen. All the games that they have been showing could also run on the Xbox One X if you ask me. Of course, in the interviews later in the event, a few things like a performance mode in Dirt 5 with up to 120 frames per second were confirmed, things that are not possible on the Xbox One X. But the overall look of the games that they have shown was very current gen. Since Microsoft advertised it as the big 30 party gameplay reveal event, I expected two things. At least one major announcement of a big AAA game made by a third-party developer. And, well, more gameplay. Because many of the trailers that have been shown were trailers and not actual gameplay. But putting this criticism aside, the good things are, we did see that many devs will support the smart delivery feature. Meaning, if you buy the game on the Xbox One or One X, you get this upgrade to the Series X version of the game for free. And even EA will support that with the new Madden game. And let's face it, if big publishers like Ubisoft and EA will support that feature, no other publisher will dare not to support the smart delivery feature. The second and most important good thing out of the Inside Xbox episode is, we got to see some very cool and interesting games. Let me briefly give you my personal highlights of the show. There was this game called Bright Memory, which was developed by a single person. It's a shooter, reminded me a little bit of Bulletstorm and there were also some mechanics of Sekiro in there. Then we got the new Dirt, Dirt 5. It looks great, it's going to be a fun racing game and hearing at the end of the show of the 120 frames per second performance mode gave me goosebumps. Then there was this game called The Ascent, a very cool looking top down twin stick shooter that reminded me a little bit of Diablo. I can't wait to see more of that game. Then we got a game called The Medium, which in the first introduction reminded me a little bit of Detroit Become Human, but it turns out it's a horror game, very much in the vein of Silent Hill. Can't wait for that. Another very interesting looking game was Second Extinction. 
a shooter in the vein of Turok. Fighting against dinosaurs has been very rare this generation, so I can't wait to see more of that game. And by the way, it had some great lighting. Microsoft has also shown some Japanese games, like the new Jakuza. Those type of games are not for me personally, but I know many gamers were asking for it and I'm happy that they now can finally play some Japanese games on the Xbox platform. And last, but in no way least, was my personal highlight, the new Assassin's Creed game called Valhalla. An Assassin's Creed game with a Viking setting is just awesome. I can't wait to see more of that game, cause what we have seen during the show was in-game footage but not actual gameplay, so let's hope that we get to see more of Assassin's Creed Valhalla very soon. And with that I wanna wrap it up. Microsoft put out a very good show, the games they have been showing were very interesting and the pacing was fantastic. My biggest complaint was with the messaging up front. With the way Microsoft marketed the event, I was expecting one AAA third-party release that is a next-gen graphic showcase. And I know that most games usually don't look suddenly next-gen at the launch of a generation, that will come later down the road. But you can explain a little bit better what the improvements are that you get with the next-gen console version of your game. Even Aaron Greenberg came out and admitted that they probably set expectations too high and I am really happy that Microsoft is so forthcoming. I appreciate that Microsoft is the only player in the industry that gives us something to talk about and the big blowout of the big AAA games will come in June and July. But enough from me, what did you think? Was the Inside Xbox episode what you expected? How did you like the show? What games caught your interest? Let me know in the comments of this video below or hit me up on Twitter, at Boxenberger. I'm always discussing the latest in gaming on my Twitter channel and I share a lot of screenshots from the games I'm playing. So if you want to talk gaming, just hit me up. And please do me a favor. If you liked this video, hit the like and subscribe button. This helps my channel more than you think and consider sharing this out on social media with other fellow gamers. But for now, Thank you very much for watching, I hope to see you the next time and game on!